seems like teachers using current events to teach how to create and consume content seems to be at the very heart of the news hours SRL. Yep. I just want to give you a moment to just talk about how teachers can use current events in that way. So a couple of different ways. We do have a website called News Hour Classroom. So it every day takes a story that's been on the news hour and asks the question, is this something that would work in a classroom? And it provides warm-up questions and discussion questions. Sometimes there's like a civics connection or a media literacy connection. All of that is wrapped up into teaching resources on News Hour Classroom. We've heard from teachers that that's some of our more successful current events content because the students really connect to seeing themselves on air, seeing themselves represented on screen. And so it really works as a way for teachers to show that these issues, you know, impact young people and there are ways of looking at them that can help them see where there are opportunities for change or for understanding and to see other students critically thinking about these issues and questioning, asking questions to people in power and exploring these topics like in real time through storytelling is a really wonderful way to help students see that they too like have those opportunities and those skills that they can develop. Um, and then just being, you know, involved in what's going on in the world. I think that when we talk to teenagers who have been a part of the program, they say that they are much more aware of the news and they want to be informed. They don't want to be caught not knowing what the big issues are of the election are or what Supreme Court decisions are going to affect their lives for the rest of their life. You know, that's what we're really here for is to like light those sparks so that they're really engaged uh, young people going into adulthood.